What's going on YouTube? You already know it's Dammy back with another video. So this is part two to my wash day hair routine. So now we're gonna start with rinsing out this mask. So this is what we got. It feels so good to have the water back on my scalp and my hair all out. Now I'm gonna show y'all what I use to restore the moisture that was taken out by that mask. All right, so this is a little pre-food that I like to use, something I put in before I wash my hair for extra moisture. So the main ingredient we have is honey, and then we have conditioner of your choice, whatever conditioner you use, and whatever oil you want to use. So I have grapeseed in this case. And then just get yourself a bowl and a spoon, because you're going to put it in the microwave so that the honey can liquefy. So I just put amounts based on my hair. It really just depends on your hair type. So I'm just putting in a lot because I have a lot of hair. I just put a little conditioner. I use this conditioner. Then I put some and then add whatever else you need to add if you need to add more of something. Alright, so my hair is still wet and I have the warmed up, slightly warmed up honey. I put it in there for 15 seconds. So now I'm just gonna take my wide tooth comb. I'm gonna part my hair in four. Okay, so now my hair is in four, well, three. This is the fourth section. This is actually too big. So I'm gonna split this in half. Now we have this section. A little concoction, and I'm gonna put it on. You wanna make sure you get every part of your hair, your scalp. Well, it'll get into your scalp, but make sure you get your ends. It helps to squeeze it through, squeeze it down the length of your hair. So I ended up having to even make some more because it ran out right here, so. So now I'll just put some of the remaining, spread it all over my head, just to get it all on there. Now I'm gonna use a bag and tuck this in here. So now I'm gonna just let this sit for like an hour and I'm gonna go edit the other video. So I just posted the first video and it took me like a good hour. So this has been in for a long time. So I'm gonna take this off. So this is what we're working with. I know y'all see the shininess and the moisture. Y'all see it. Now I'm gonna actually rinse this out and wash my hair for real. But first, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to prepare my leave-in conditioner. I make my own leave-in conditioner because I don't got the money to buy one. Mix together, y'all can see it. And I just put some boiling water on the stove and let it melt together. Right now I'm just mixing it all in there. A lot of it is solidified, so it's kind of hard to mix it. That's why I'm gonna heat it up a little bit. So I put some of this concoction in this, so I put some of that in there. Some castor oil. It's mostly in there already. And then I always put some black, blood, wow, blow drying heat protectant in there just in case. So here it is, and I'm just gonna take a spoon and mix it up. I'm gonna just leave this here. So this is what I'm gonna put on my hair after I wash it. So this is the shampoo that I use. 
cream of nature. Now I know about the whole sulfate thing and I used to use shampoos with no sulfate. I still do, but I like how this one smells and it really gives me a good clean. So I use it when I haven't washed my hair in a while. But other than, other than that, I'll use my non-sulfate shampoo. And then you guys already saw my conditioner and they both smell really good, so. So what I'll do is leave it in these sections and just wash it like this. So I'll take my scrunchie and I'll start with the back. So I'll put these up. So now it's up and I have these two sections out and I'll wash these first. So as you can see, the honey made my hair really shiny and it feels very smooth, like super soft, like very soft. And this it's just, it's a really good mask to do before you wash your hair. And it helps your hair be manageable for the rest of the process. So usually after I wash my hair in sections, I'll wash the whole side one more time. So that's what I'm about to do. Oh, my curls are so tight you can't even see them but like my hair is curly you can just it's just so tight like you can't even like you see like this part this hair right here the back of my head is has looser curls but usually what I do after is I'll put some conditioner in the side that I washed already just so it doesn't dry up because my hair dries up very fast So we got one up, now the other side. So y'all can see the curl definition and my hair definitely looks better after having the conditioner in it. So my this is my hair when it's moisturized with conditioner. Um, I usually leave it in here for like a few minutes and then I'll rinse it out. But I leave most of it, not most of it, but I'll leave a little bit in because it really does make a difference, like seriously. So yeah. I wish it would stay like this because it's only like this when it's wet and then when it dries up, I look like a little boy. So it like shrinks to my head. I wish I could feel my hair. Like my hair is literally so thick. Like it's like when I wash my hair, the water, sometimes I don't even feel it on my scalp. Like I love it. I used to not like my hair. I used to want good hair. I was like, and then finally, I was like, you know what? My hair is good hair. 
this. I need to grow it out more so when it shrinks, it'll be this size, not this size. I used to have really bad heat damage in the front of my hair, but I got rid of it. Fun fact, you don't have to cut it. You just gotta wait like a year. Okay, so I'm back after like an hour. I ended up taking pictures because I like how my hair looked. So I'm getting ready to rinse it out. I think I'm gonna do a wash and go one day because I like how this looks. Always remember, leave a little bit in. So now you see there's still some in there. I usually like to shake my head, but I'm gonna go do that in my bathroom because I don't wanna mess up the kitchen cotton t-shirt but I actually don't dry my hair when I do this you'll see why all right so now we're back in the bathroom and my hair is still drenching wet and I don't let my hair dry a lot before I put the um, products in because it just absorbs so much better and when you take it out it feels so much softer I'm gonna go in there and do a little doggy shake with my hair and I'll be back okay I'm back so now I'm just gonna start by parting my hair. What I'm gonna do with it? Usually I just put it in braids to stretch it out because I have videos coming up where I'm gonna need to do a certain hairstyle and I need my hair to be stretched. So, but it has to be presentable. Let's see. take it scrunch it in my hair get it in there and you have to remember your hair is wet so it's get like you're putting more in there than you think so you have to be careful with how much you put I mean you obviously want to make sure you get your scalp that's mostly important so I get edges I usually do like this really ugly braided style, but just because I want my hair to be stretched out. But for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do something quick. So now I'm gonna comb my hair out some more. So I just did these two little braids. Something quick, just for the sake of the video. I usually do something more, but I'm tired. So then usually I just take this good oil and I just... So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And that is just my process when I wash my hair in a nutshell. So thank you for watching.